A decorated former soldier who fought for Britain, now fighting for his freedom after being accused by police in Dubai of selling drugs. Andrew Neil denies the charge, but has spent more than four months in detention. His father, Morris, issued this statement to Sky News through a representative. The stress and worry about Andy over these past four and a half months frankly eclipses whatever anxiety we felt when he was serving in conflict zones overseas over all the years. If anything happened to him then, we knew it was for a cause in service to our country. He is suffering now and is facing danger and hardships for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Mr Neil, his wife and their two young children have lived in Dubai since 2015. The former army dog handler ran a dog training business until police turned up at his apartment in October and arrested him. The group representing his family say he then unwittingly signed a confession despite saying he was innocent. Good boy. The detained in Dubai group say he remains behind bars even though his alleged accuser apparently retracted his statement. Mr Neil, who spent 24 years in the army and received medals for service in Iraq, Afghanistan and elsewhere, is just the latest in a line of British citizens to end up detained in the United Arab Emirates. The Foreign Office says it's providing him with assistance and is in touch with his family. Diplomats are also supporting a British Sudanese football fan who's in detention and the Foreign Office had to help academic Matthew Hedges, who was only freed following a pardon after he says he was forced to confess to being an MI6 officer. His lawyer, when asked about Mr Neil's case, says the UAE system doesn't have human rights protections and the rule of law at its core. He's therefore without any assistance internally. He needs the intervention of the international community, of, of the UK government to, to come to his aid. Otherwise, it's going to be a very lonely place. The Dubai authorities have yet to respond to questions about Mr Neil's case. The former soldier, who's recovering from post-traumatic stress disorder, could be transferred to Abu Dhabi if he's not released. His family is appealing to Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt to help him return home. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.